long time of not being present for this cast. I'm back. Welcome, everybody. It's good to have everybody here, and by everybody, I mean my wife is here, and my son is here. Hello, internet. My wife says hi to the internet. We're going to be playing Thomas Was Alone, because I haven't done that in so long. So here we go. Thomas Was Alone. Hmm... Yeah, well, you didn't want you didn't play the game. My wife says Thomas is, isn't alone. She doesn't understand, but she didn't play the game, so she can't understand. That's just the way it is. All right. So I need to turn up the volume. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. So I actually think this is a trick, and when I fall off this edge, no. Nope. Oh. There we go. All right. So now, I need to get John. And she's Madam Zen, right? Who can jump twice? Okay, good. Man, it has been a while, but it hasn't been that long. Wonderful. All right. I don't even remember these characters' names now. Whee! <laughs> yeah, Thomas isn't on this one. Uh, Claire could not Claire. accept that this had Wonderful. all been futile. She was a superhero. There had there to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but... There must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? I'm loving this right now. <laughs> Which seems kind of silly, like I haven't given you enough information, but it has been just so long since I've played this. And I love that, like, there are these AIs, and they're. Uh, like, the story is so good for this game. Like, you might say to yourself, what story? There's no story here. But if you were to say that, I would say you were sadly mistaken. There's. Plenty fantastic story here. No, I already used her second jump. Very unlike elementary. Why isn't she getting a second jump? Why is she not getting a second jump? Is there a rule I don't understand? Huh. One, no second jump. She just isn't getting a second jump. Okay. And if I land here, I die. Okay. Alright, what if I just take her from here? I can almost make it. I actually think that the answer is to bring John back and have her take off from John right here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so close. All right. Oh, darn it. Okay, this is a little bit jumpy. I haven't dropped frames on my encoder, though. Sorry, I come back and then I'm like, oh yeah, there are technical difficulties sometimes. This is the worst. Okay, there's a rule about how far, about how far over there she can be before. So I actually think what I want to do is I want Claire... Nope, she can't get back out. And they gave me a state of state, so that's probably not how to solve this one. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm thinking... And the music's just so epic, because it's like, oh yeah, we're all doomed forever. Fantastic. Got it. Alright. Claire, bring everybody home. Oh man, commentary is just totally failing today, but I'm so happy to be back Thomas at this. Led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. Oh my goodness. He had a plan. 
they were going to redesign the world. Oh yeah, totally redesign the world. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? Oh yeah, no dice. I'm sorry guys, I'm so happy I'm not even commentating a game well. Oh, it's just... Alright. So, they're not all doomed. Thomas has a plan. We're gonna have... What's her name? Sarah? I don't know. We're gonna have Sarah do it. Yeah, she's definitely the best block mover. Sarah back. Good. I'm just assuming her name's Sarah. If it's not Sarah, nobody tell me differently. I'm having too good of a time. There we go. Alright. Chris, get yourself over there. I have not yet found the value of Chris in this game. Except that he kind of has to be taken care of by everybody else. And he's grumpy. Oh man, this is fantastic! We have Chris to like use all of them. Skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Oh yeah, and he's in love and this whole story is just fantastic. Alright, let's let's get that that block. How do we get that block moved? Oh there you go, bud. Yeah. Huh, well, I thought that was the right answer. Maybe I've already done it wrong. Yes, nope, got it. Oops. Slipping really badly, actually. What happened to my computer? Is it? It's not as happy as it used to be. All right. Well, I found out a few things that we can do with this here. What's this character's name again? I need help. I seriously need somebody to just log on and tell me how to spell. I need somebody to come chill and chat with me and say, "Hey, this character's name is not Thomas. It's the other one." It's like Thomas, but in reverse. It's kind of strange. Steve? I don't know. Like Steve, what's he got to do with it? Um, well, I'm not even sure that's the right way to go about it. Double jumps. Yep, there we go. I messed it up. I actually don't know if there's a way I can fix this. Oh, there is, but it's going to take a while. Okay. Everyone bear with me while I jump a lot. So there are a lot of theories on what makes a game fun. Um... And for some it's like escapism, right? You get to be this character. 
you play Batman Arkham Asylum and you get to be Batman. At least that's what Day9 says, I've watched his show a lot, and I really appreciate his insight on game design. Um, oh gosh. And this one, the fun is that there's a puzzle that isn't necessarily... I don't know, there's, there's a story that isn't alone entertaining, and there's puzzles that aren't alone entertaining. I might have to restart this level. I'm just going to restart the level. Because I don't want to have to keep bouncing that thing. But there's like this idea of people Chris acting together. Skeptical. And that's just he really fantastic. His abilities would be of no know, use it's... to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately, he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Because gosh darn it, they're square eyes and they deserve a life, right? No, tell me I didn't just ruin it all. Perfect. Now we want Claire. Come here, Claire. Alright, so I was gonna go into this big thing about what makes a game fun. This game, the music is inspiring, the story is entertaining, the characters are enjoyable. This game has a little bit of everything. And that's what makes it enjoyable, I think. Okay, so where'd that move? Did that move? That moved this so that John can get up there. Cocky John. <laughs> Sarah, where are you going? Sarah going down? Sarah's going down. And I think that that's the thing I want in a game. More than anything else. I want a good, healthy combination of all the things that are fun. From a programming standpoint, this is a pretty easy game, you know? But it's put together in a way that's so good. It puts together a really cohesive narrative, a fun story. It's a good... this is a good game. When it comes around to rating time, this... this game will get very high marks from me. I should just land on top of him. get myself in trouble. This is a fun part of the game too, because we get to explore like interactions between the characters, right? So Sarah and Claire, or Sarah and, oh good heck, her name's not Claire, but I don't really care. Laura, there we go. Laura, Chris's girlfriend. Um. Both, like, we, we have no dialogue here, right? Laura had oh, been born never mind. special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. Boom. And it's, like, it also, if we're not near the end, then I'm way wrong on this, but the game is just hinting hardcore that we're at the end of the game, right? This is literally gonna be one of the last few trials here. Oh, I only get one air jump. I don't know, I'm not thinking very well, publicly, out loud, kind of well. Boom. <coughs> Thomas liked the idea of being an architect. He wanted to modify the world to help others. He 
It was sick of these contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Oh man, he's gonna start a revolution and nobody likes that. Okay, so each one of these is basically just showing off their individual things again. I mean, we're, we've got to be winding down because the puzzles are all like, hey, did you, did you figure it out? Puzzles instead of like, instead of being like testing puzzles or learning puzzles, these are really just like, these are story based, like, the game's over puzzles. These are easy puzzles that are just here to make you feel good about yourself. And if I'm wrong, then... Then it's bad game design I'm gonna have to give this game slightly lower score. But I really don't think that's the case. Okay, come on. Get the beach ball over there. Good job. I like, I like how they program the light into these things, like, this is, this is fantastic. I really wish my brain was more here, because I'm seeing things that are really good and I'm not having an easy time explaining how they're really good. Alright, that's somebody else's business now, Sarah's done. That's what we're doing. Those massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked the sound of that. Boom. Man, we are rocking this thing. Alright. We are so close to the end. We should just finish it, right? James. Right? Still felt weird. James, that's his but name. But you realize now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. <laughs> Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and we would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. <laughs> This narrator! Man, this is just, this is a really good game. I think you all should know this is a really good game. Uh, I also think that even though we're really close to the end, it's it's gotta be over. Like, we, we are gonna be done for today, right now. Alright, so it was kinda short, um, and we'll do more tomorrow with Thomas Was Alone. It will be an afternoon show. And hopefully my thoughts will be together a little bit better because this is just, this is a fantastic game. This is a really well put together game. And I think that it should be lauded as such. Uh, anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. My name's Nick Harper.